Hello guys, my name is Critical and welcome to my first episode where I'm gonna walk through my setup class for this particular gameplay. Um, we are gonna be playing Domination again today and actually on downhill again as we did on the first episode of my live commentary. Uh, the class that I'm gonna be using today is the MP7 as you can see here. Um, the MP7 has a really really high fire rate which I, I love. I, I just love the MP7. Uh, it does also have uh, quite a high damage amount um, which wasn't really showed on that move right there but um, it, it is actually really really powerful. Um, I am gonna be running uh, two wildcards on this class. I'm go gonna be running the Perk 1 Creed which I will be talking about later on and I am running the primary gunfighter. Um, the particular uh, equipment that I have for this MP7 right here is, as you can see, the silencer, the fast mag and the FMJ attachment. Um, the FMJ is just a beast on this particular gun uh, uh, game mode. Uh, it gives you more damage um, and I I basically almost use FMJ on Domination and Kill Confirmed. Um, Silencer is, is really really good because that it don't reveal your, your position uh, on the minimap um, which gives you some time to just run around and just yeah kill the enemies basically all the time and they have no idea where you are coming from. And uh, the fast mag is just amazing on this weapon. It is reloading so so fast and as you can see we only have 40 bullets in the um, in the holster but it, it should be enough but I, I, ju I just like uh, using the fast mag attachment and on this game mode it actually, or this gameplay it actually went pretty alright as you can see later on. Um, I'm running the uh, Perk 1 Creed, as I told you before, uh, which is Hardline and Ghost. Hardline is just amazing for me. It takes away 20% of the score streak required, which is just amazing. Uh, you, you have to get, I think it's 1200 score to get the Orbital VSAP, and as it takes away 240 score. Um, from the requirement, which is yeah less than a thousand, you have to do to to get the orbital visa. So um, that's why I really really love it, and you can get your low stars so fast. Um, and I know some one is gonna call me a knob because I use ghost, but uh, the main thing is that it is still very very effective. If you use ghost on this. Um, special gameplay you, uh, you you won't get your position revealed when you use uh, when your enemy use the UAV I see there uh, basically in the entire enemy team just raids quit it um, but you won't get your position revealed when the enemy team has a UAV up and the guys that we just met on this gameplay had UAVs up all the time uh, the game before in this game they don't <laughs> because they raid quit yeah um, but it is really, really effective, even though some someone calls it a knob uh, perk. But uh, yeah, I just like use it on uh, on this particular map. Um, as my perk two, I use toughness, which is, as you probably know, uh, very, very good because it, it it tells you that you flinch less when you get shot, having the toughness uh, uh, equipped. And yes, you do really. Finch less. It is so good. Um, I should probably like do a um, little gameplay uh, where I don't use it, so that you can see the difference between toughness and non-toughness, because there's such a big difference. Um, the last perk that I am using is the dexterity, and as you can see, the aim of the MP7 and the dexterity perk is just amazing. It aims so fast. And as you can see here, I'm climbing the, the obstacle here very, very fast. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. 
Um, and that is why I like using the fast mag as well. Um, but yeah, there is an extreme fast aim with the MP7 and the uh, dexterity perk equipped. So that was like basically my entire setup class for for this gameplay, the MP7. Guys, you should uh, you should really check it out. Um, try it out. Let me know what you think of it. We can see here at halftime I have a uh, 23 and 2 score on on downhill here. So this game is quite all right, even though the entire enemy team just rates quit it at some time. Uh, some some time now on the map. So let's just see. We got a capture here. I actually think I'm gonna get my lightning strikes soon again. Let's just see. Yeah, I'm gonna capture this all by myself. I have a teammate um, from my clan. He's just coming there. Yeah, I just put my life <laughs> as uh, as bait for this one. Um, just trying to capture it all by myself, and he just comes in get 200 points as well at the end. So thank you to my teammate here. Um, so let's see what what happens next on. Um, I like playing Domination, as you can see. Um, the Domination really... Uh, I've, I've played it a lot, and it really... If, if you play it a lot, you can get to know where the enemy spawn, and you can, you, can, you can actually spawn trap them a bit. You can, uh, you can confuse them quite a lot if you, uh, if you just know what you're doing. So let's see here. Yeah, nice little headshot there. And I got my Orbital v -Sat again. So let's see, I'm just gonna call it in so that we keep on having this, and I'm, I think I'm actually gonna die here. One of my load style, which is so poor shooting, look at that. Yes, man. Yeah. So, the game is almost at its end. We are at 177 score, 242. So that's quite a big lead. But as you can see here, it is so effective, this MP7. Nice double kill there. Um, and look at, look at that aim. Look at that aim. It aims so fast. But, um, also, there is the reason that I used the FMJ. That guy up there, I had... If I hadn't been using the FMJ on that particular... Uh, at that time, he would not have died by, by my shooting there. So guys, this is it. Um, that is the end of my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please let me know what you think about the class. If you're going to try it out, tell me how it goes for you. Um, and, uh, and just comment. Let me know what you think. I will be uploading uh, some more videos later on on different classes. Let me know which class you want me to, uh, to play with. 